This chapter will focus on getting familiar with the performance dashboard design interface. Adding business metrics, implementing interactivity such as drill down will be covered later. In addition, styling and laying out dashboards will be addressed in subsequent tutorials. To create a new dashboard, we need to go to the dashboards context menu. Select the new dashboard menu item to create a new performance dashboard. Type in a meaningful name. Let's call it 4.1.1 so we can reference this dashboard in this tutorial for future reference. Let's go over the design interface now. On the left side is our toolbox. This is where you would find business metrics you've created including KPIs and datasets, visualization controls, and styling elements. In addition, you can go back to the Design Explorer by clicking here. In the middle, we have the Dashboard Canvas. This is where you would start dragging and dropping business metrics, styling elements, and other things onto. On the right side, you will see the Properties pane. Right now, it's not really interesting because we don't have anything selected, so let's click on the Dashboard Canvas. Notice how this grid appears. These are what we call the properties of a selected object. Anything that goes on the dashboard will now be called dashboard elements. Elements include data visualizations and general controls. Each dashboard element has a lot of properties, so trying to go over every property for each control would almost be endless. However, we will cover some of the more common properties to configure in tutorials throughout this series. One final thing to note, there is something we call advanced properties as well. These are properties that are generally not used, but may be useful in some instances. To show or hide these advanced properties, just click here. We're going to talk about the canvas in more detail now. First off, you can set the width and the height of the canvas by doing the following. The canvas has a Cartesian coordinate system using pixels as units. The point of origin, or 0, 0, is located at the top left hand corner of the canvas. Along the left side is the Y axis and as you move down the axis the number of pixels increases from top to bottom. Along the top of the dashboard canvas is the X axis and the number of pixels increases from left to right. Let's place a label onto the canvas so we can talk about positioning a dashboard element. Notice how the properties paint updates to show the properties of the label. We're interested in the top and left properties. Set the top value to 20 and the left value to 0. Notice how the label is now flush against the left side and 20 pixels from the top. Note that the location of the label applies to the top left hand corner of the label. Let's set the left value to 50 now. Notice how the label moves 50 pixels to the left. Now let's look at resizing this dashboard element. You can do so by doing the following. A more precise way to resize it is to use the height and width properties in the dashboard element. Again, the units are pixels. Let's move on to the toolbar now. Click on the label if it hasn't already been selected. Let's click on the copy button in the toolbar. Now click on paste. This will create a copy of the label on the dashboard. To remove a dashboard element, click on the element and press the delete key on your keyboard. To preview your dashboard, you would click here. If you feel you'd like to save your work but the dashboard isn't ready for production yet, click on Save. However, if you're ready to publish the dashboard, click on Check In. It will now be available for viewing. Now that you have a better understanding of the Dashboard Designer interface, you're ready to start learning how to build your own dashboard. This concludes our tutorial on getting familiar with the Performance Dashboard interface.